Hello, this is James Brannigan, Applications Expert with Imaginet Technologies. Today I wanted to talk to you about how you can set a new origin for your point clouds when working within Recap. I've opened up a recent building project in Recap that was scanned with Leica's BLK scanner. As you can see, the origin, location, and orientation has been set by the first scan of the BLK. In this instance, the origin has been placed in the lower left-hand corner of the building, which is where the first scan took place, and it's rotated. If I take a closer look at it, you'll also notice that the elevation is up from the floor level. This is also set at the height of the scanner. Inserting this point cloud into AutoCAD maintains the orientation that we saw in Recap. So you can see here that the building is still rotated as it was when we saw it in Recap. Recap offers me a tool that can be used to set a new origin and orientation for the coordinate system. If I come into my tools on the left hand side, the second one down that looks like a computer monitor, and then the third one over, which looks like a bunch of dots bound by a box, I've got update origin. Reading the little tooltip for update origin says that this will update the origin and or location of the coordinate system. So if I click on this, again, it's going to tell me that I can click to update the location of the origin and then press enter to confirm or tab to uh, update the orientation. So what it's first looking for is a new location for the coordinate system. After I've put in the location, it's going to ask me to update the orientation of the coordinate system with two metrics. I need to input the direction of the z-axis and the direction of the x-axis. I always find it easiest to place it kind of along the intersection of a wall and a floor. So I'm going to place the new coordinate system location kind of as close to the wall here as I can get it. So when I click to place that, I'll get a yellow dot that's going to come in and show me where the new origin is going to be placed. Once I've clicked that, again, it's going to ask me to press enter to confirm it or tab to update the orientation of the coordinate system. So if I hit tab, I will then get up my x, my y, my z axes. The first one it's going to ask me to update is the direction of the z axis. So if I'm happy with that, I can just hit enter. Otherwise, I can click to reposition it or hit Alt to flip it. So I'll click Enter to accept that, and then it's going to ask me to update the direction of the x-axis. So I have the x-axis set. I can either press Enter to confirm it or Alt to flip it. When I hit Enter, it's going to update When I hit enter, it's going to update the origin and rotation of the coordinate system. If I come back to look at the top, I can now see that my grid has been realigned to the building and the origin has been moved to the bottom right-hand corner. Reinserting this point cloud into AutoCAD, and I can see now that the orientation has been changed, the location of the orient or the origin has been changed to where I set it in recap, and the rotation has been changed as well. Using this method will get you close to the desired results. However, Further tweaking may be needed within AutoCAD itself to rotate the model perfectly vertical. 
This has been a quick look at setting the origin of a point cloud in Autodesk's recap. Thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.